Hey guys, Indiana Bound Fishing, and today we are catching, cleaning, cooking, and eating rock bass. Right, guys I just got home from work I got changed up um, let's do a little bit of fishing tonight I want to do a catch and cook video that's what I would like to do and I want to catch some rock bass because I want to eat some rock bass so we're gonna go out and just see what we can do I know of a few ditches right now where they're still hitting pretty hard um, we haven't hit that lull yet so I just want to catch maybe I don't know three four or five of them and see uh, see about cleaning them up cooking them up you guys are along for the ride so here we go Oh, that was a miss. There are the weeds here. Fishing for rock bass, keeping close to these pilings here. Gotcha. He hit that. Quick. He hit that guy quick. He hit that guy quick. Nice little rock bass. All right. Nice little eater right there. He freaking hit it as soon as it hit the top of the water. Look at him. Nice pretty little guy. It is a wonderful day just to get out. Just get out and right after work here and cast a line or two. Oh, right into a fish. Right into a nice little fish here. Not big, I can tell, but, oh, yeah, there we go. Right into a nice little fish. Ooh, that's a big mama right there. That's a big, healthy mama. Nice. No. You're my dinner. Right back in those rocks. Oh, there's another snag. Pop it up, pop it up, pop it up, pop it up. Come on. If I snap off, I ain't moving spots. <clears throat> so, I lost that tube. So I got a little crawdad here, a little eight ounce jig head. Poke that hook right up the top like that. Killer. All right, so when you're fishing for rock bass, the one thing you do need to know, they are aggressive. They're aggressive little guys, and uh, they'll hit your lures. They'll hit hard plastic, soft plastics. They, they don't have a very small mouth. I mean, for their body size, it's actually a fairly large mouth. Um, but yeah, they hit it and they run. A lot of times you feel like you have a small uh, small mouth on. So yeah, they're, they're a pretty, pretty good time. And like I said before, they taste really good. There's a good one. There we go. That's a, oh man, that's a really nice one actually. Uh, there it is. Uh, there's definitely an eater. Get a good flay off of him. Get a real good flay off that guy. Nice. All right, guys. So today we're fishing for rock bass. I want to catch them, clean them, cook them, eat them, show you what I'm using, show you how I'm catching them, show you how I'm cooking them. They are delicious. They are hands down one of my favorite tasting fish. Um, and you can catch them there. They're phenomenal tasting. I like to give them a nice crispy coating and fry them. Awesome. 
All right, guys, I just got home. It was a short, quick little hour trip after work. Just wanted to get out, get some fish, clean them up, cook them up, and eat them. But I wanted to show you guys how I was doing it because honestly, like I said, rock bass are hands down some of my favorite fish to eat. I love catching them, I love eating them. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I'm doing. Here we go. Fish, you want some fish brew? Want your fish Brutus? Guys, this is Brutus. He is my English Bulldog. He's about six months old. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes. Okay. All right, so here's the rock bass and we're gonna start out making a nice cut around the gill plate. Just like that. Okay, flip them over. We're gonna go right down the back. Okay, you're gonna feel ribs. Just travel down until you feel the ribs stop right there. You go all the way down through the stomach, all the way back. All right. Then pull it up like this. We're gonna find the ribs. And we're gonna go right around those ribs. Just like this. Okay. Okay. Let's go right down the rib cage. Just like this. Alright. Awesome. And when you get to the belly, just turn him. Go right down. There's one. Okay, I'll show you how to take it off the skin. So we're gonna do the same thing here. It's gonna go right behind the rib cage. Okay, put our knife in. Right down until we feel it stop. Go right through. Okay, same thing then, just taking cut, make sure you have everything cut so far, yep. Okay. Alright All right, then, now, when you are taking it off the skin, alright, when you're taking it off the skin now, I just like to make an incision down. Turn my knife flat with the skin, holding on. Always watch your fingers and just go straight down the skin. Just like that. And you got a perfect piece of meat. Okay. So we'll do that again. Just turn it like this, straight down, 90. Go all the way down that fish. Beautiful, sweet. So these are two nice fillets here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them in some water. I'm gonna look for some bones, see if there's any bones in there. And then uh, after that, we'll start cooking it. Right now I'm just gonna turn the cold water on. I'm gonna let it run. Got all my fillets in here, nice cold water. I'm just gonna let it run in there. Clean them up a bit. All right, and once you're done, this is what you should be left with. Nice white meat. See, that's where that rib cage was. This all is meat here. You should be left with a nice pile of meat. All right, so this is all you're gonna need. Some flour, two eggs, a roll of butter crackers or Ritz or saltines or whatever you want, and the fish. You're also going to need a little bit of oil to fry it in. We'll get to that. All 
All right, so we have our crushed up crackers here. We have two whisked up eggs and we have a bowl of flour. All right, got just a little bit of oil in here, maybe about an inch. And I'm gonna take and coat all this stuff. We're gonna drop it in. Doesn't take more than three, four minutes. All right, so we're gonna take a piece. We're gonna go flour, coat it nicely, yep. Shake off the excess there. Do a little egg wash. Again, let the extra drip off right into the crackers. I'm gonna coat this up with some crackers. I do like to use panko too. I think that's an awesome coating. I like to put panko on it. But for this sake, we're just gonna do it like this. Cause this is what I have. Alright guys, and then when they're all breaded, they're going to look something like this. So now they're about ready to go in the fryer, I got this, this pan going on a medium heat, looks just about ready. Alright, we're going to see, we are going to see if the oil is ready, drop a little cracker in there. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. Alright, so we're just going to put a few pieces in, one, two, we can probably fit one small guy in there, we'll put this guy in, three, awesome. Now we're just gonna now we're just gonna let that boil. Like I said, about three four minutes should be plenty, and then we'll be ready to go. Always good to go ahead and give them a little flip so that way they cook evenly all the way around. Like this is oil, so it will cook the top as well. But I always give them a little flip. Oh man, those are looking good. All right, I think they're just about done. Oh yeah, that's looking perfect right there. All right, put it down there. We'll get the next batch in. We're gonna let them cool off and then take a look. They should be more than done. They should be perfect. All right, let's get some more fish going here. There are two pieces. One, two. You can go four in this one. Whew, there's that second batch, frying up all right. Oh yeah, just about done. All right, final batch is going in. Drop one. Here's two. Oh, that oil's getting gross. Here's three. Nice. Oh yeah. This one here. Man, those are turning out really nice. Look at those. Heck yeah. All right, guys, when it's done, you're gonna have a nice pile of meat like this. What's up, buddy? You want some? Are you? You jonesing? You want some fish? You want some fish brew? All right, guys, there it is, finished product. All right, there's uh, nothing left to do but eat it, so here we go. Guys, like I said, these are some of my favorite fish to eat, so, let me show you guys real quick, look at that. How nice and white and flaky that is in there. Oh man, this is gonna be good. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. That is good stuff. Oh yeah. You know, this is supposed to be dinner for me and my wife tonight, but uh, if she doesn't get home here, I'm gonna be eating it all. You want some? Here you go, boy. Want some fish? 
It's hot. What do you think, buddy? You like that? Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, well, if you enjoyed this video, if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be awesome. And until next time, thank you for watching.